Okay, so I'm going to go through some basic things that I had questions about when I started programming. And one of the first things when you're trying to find the first language that you're going to end up pursuing, you come across HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because you're thinking about doing web development or you figure that it's the first step in whatever the path is. Well, let's get to the very first thing. HTML, there's a whole controversy whether or not it's actually considered a programming language and JavaScript, which actually is a programming language. So this, at least a little bit, is my opinion, but let's get into the big difference between the two. So HTML is basically the code or the markup for how a website is designed. It doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't actually interact with anything. Instead, what it does is it's a lot of essentially placeholders, if you will, Essentially, there's tags that are representative of what's going to be an image or where a piece of text is going to be inserted. And then JavaScript is what's used to take all those different elements, all those different pieces, rearrange them, move them around, manipulate the screen. An easy way of thinking about it is HTML essentially has a bunch of different components, kind of like puzzle pieces and you use the HTML to stack it all together. And then JavaScript is the act of actually taking a still puzzle, taking off those pieces and rearranging them and building a different picture, right? But you're still using the HTML elements, okay? Now, um, slightly off topic, but always related, is CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. All it is is a fancy word for how the HTML is presented and how it looks. To make it look nice and fancy or stylized, you use CSS. CSS is also not a programming language, but once again, you're using code to be representative of what you need the HTML to do. So in CSS, you have certain properties, attributes, certain abilities that the HTML can do to display itself in a way. If you want it to float to the left, if you want it to float to the right, if you want it to be lined up, a lot of that you're going to dictate with the CSS style sheet. So essentially how the picture looks, what color things are, and how the puzzle pieces, I guess how each puzzle piece is colored and coordinated, I guess. That, that's pretty good. All right, so that's the first thing that needs to be distinguished between in the very beginning that I have to have the mindset of when you're learning a programming language, you can learn HTML, you can learn CSS, but they actually aren't really programming languages and in no way are they going to aid you in learning Java or C Sharp or even JavaScript because it actually is its own thing. It's coding, but it's actually not a programming language. They don't actually physically by themselves do anything. Now you're using a programming language like Java or C Sharp, uh, PHP. You're using a programming language so that you can actually take those elements and do something with it. Uh, for me specifically, the way I distinguish the difference between something that's a programming language, a programming language is more of a activity or an event, right? An event-driven system that essentially can do things uh, on its own, right? It runs by itself without needing the assistance of anything else. The code, however, is anything that we are writing that is not plain English. Um, so all programming language is code, but not all code is a programming language. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below and I will see if I can get to them. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.